that scooter on. Oh, my <laughs> Jesus. What is that, velvet? What is that, velvet? That's velvet. <laughs> Well, we're thrilled you're here. He's here to answer some lawn care questions and entertain us, as you can see. The first one coming to us from John in Loudon, not asking about velvet. He wants to know, uh, apparently has two large holly trees. They both are large and beautiful, and suddenly one has lost half of the leaves on the inside. What's going on, and should he be worried? Well, as long as the tips are still green and have, have some leaves on them, it's probably just shedded its leaves, and it will do that. Uh, even evergreens remove their leaves as they're no longer useful to the plant. So if it's been a while since it shedded those leaves, then that could be what's going on. And that's fine. That's right. fine. Okay, uh, we got one from Holly. She's not asking about Holly, I don't think, at least. I have found, what's that, Leanne? Oh, this is from Sam. I have found two snake skins <laughs> under my deck this fall. Oh, Does that mean they no. are under my house? If they are, don't tell my wife. Well, unfortunately, Sam, you <laughs> just did on television. Just However, did. does that mean because the skins are under the house that the snakes are? No, it oh. doesn't necessarily mean that. It means that the snakes were once under his deck. Now, if you want to be sure they're not under your house, the first thing you want to be sure of is if the entrance into the crawl space is under the deck. That would be my first thing to make me worry if that was there. If it's not, then chances are they just found a place to hang out in the cool mm. when it was hot during the summer and under a deck would be a good spot for them. But still, I would pay attention, get under the house and look with a light, see if you see anything, Gee. make sure that the door is very well secured. But you find snake skins everywhere. That doesn't mean they're in the house if you yeah. find them around the house. Good luck with that, them. Sam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Best of luck. Yeah, crawling under there. Let's know how that goes. <laughs> okay, really quickly, let's get Holly's question in. She's lost three small trees in the front yard this year. They simply died. Uh, when they went to pull them out, the mulch, uh, no roots were on them. So what's going on? Well, the first clue is, is they obviously had mulch piled up around them, which we do not recommend because that provides cover for little short tail uh, mice called voles mm -hmm. to go in and chew at the base of the tree and they can actually chew all the roots off of the tree. So that would be my first guess. Mm -hmm. What has happened is they tunneled under the mulch and went over there and chewed the roots off. And the they tunnel. can do some damage. My mom has had some voles. And yes. Your mama has some oh, mice over there. Oh, some voles, yes. She, yeah, they, they can really work them, them over. Mm -hmm. So Good. Oh, that's probably what happened. If you have a question about voles or whatnot, Bailed email it. us live at five at WBIR.com. Put Ask Neil on the subject line. And Good you to see do you. really look Good sharp. I like this combo. Yeah. Mm -hmm.